I'm out here on another cemetery hunt looking for photos, but I found a grave today, or maybe two or three, in this old cemetery. I won't tell you exactly where it is, but it should be well taken care of. However, it's gone through a time of disrepair years ago. But as I was walking through the edge, I noticed over the hillside there were a couple of stones, and sometimes you see old foot stones or just place marker stones that have been gotten rid of but this looks like some stones that were mounted here and then have fallen over and and so I got a little bit of record off of this one right down here and that is one of Emily Phillips and I put that added that to find a grave uh, I hope to get a hold of the cemetery board or caretakers and see if there's a way to uh, make this a little better situation where this isn't off in the surrounding hillside but uh, as I was leaving I found another one and this one is also marked as Phillips there are some stones here that have fallen over and it may be the bottom part of the stone that I found but I can't read the front I see an uh, indication on the side of someone named Phillips so I'm going to kind of clear that off and see what it is but I'm also going to try to uh, read what's on the front and so I'm going to just use a little bit of flour on here and, and clear it off and just see if I can read a very flat inscription that's not really raised very much so let me try that and I'll get right back with you and we'll see if we can find out who this stone marks okay I just put a little bit of all-natural flour and I know there's probably ins and outs of people who think should or should not do this to tombstones but this one's over the hill in the weeds and totally forgotten and I don't believe this is going to harm it in any way so we're going to just rub a Something across here, see if we can read who this is or what it says. I did this first on the side of the sponge that has a, a um, scratchiness on it in hopes that it would leave a lot. But I'm going to now have to turn it over some kind of a picture here. And so I imagine it probably reads in this direction. So let's see what we can find out here. I'm just going to really lightly turn it over to the flat side, see if I can leave things on the front in the cracks. Very decorative. Okay. It's like a picture of kind of like heaven's gates. Wow, look at the look at the rooftops at the top. Oh, you can't really make out any names right now. Do that one more time. It says in my house there are many mansions. In my father's house, there are many mansions. Bible reference there. Here are the gates. And boy, I sure don't see that I can read any names here. And so, maybe that's just a decoration at the top. I don't see anything here, but I did see the names on the side, so let's try that. It has fallen down and given us a little bit of something to read. I believe it's going to say sacred to the memory of Annie or someone like that. Phillips, born September 1st, 1801, died April 3rd. 1901 that's 100 year old person whose stone is just thrown to the side all right i'm going to dig and see if i can see the rest of this name okay i'm going to put a little bit more flour from the top put it on the dusted end of this side part that i've just uncovered and it says
sacred to the memory of Jenny Phillips, born September 1st, 1801, and died April 3rd, 1901. Um, there may be more. Usually on the side of a stone is a relative of the main person that is passed here. But uh, the Phillips person that I recorded on the other stone is Emily Phillips, who's married to Robert. And uh, Robert Phillips was born in the mid-1850s. So this could be a, a mother to, to Robert Phillips. And we'll look at, do a little ancestry work and see if we can see any of that. Let me see if there's anything on the other side of the stone. Could be another name on the other side. I don't think I want to move it and try to check the back, but... Oh, there is another. I believe there's another name on this side. Okay, I'll see if you can see that. But you can't in here. There are some letters here. So, I'm going to do the same thing on this side and see what we find, okay? Okay, I've dug down in on this, this other side and see if the lighting will help us out. Here we go. Sacred to the memory of Catherine Webster, born August 1843, died August 29th, 1902. I'm going to put a little bit of dust on here just to make sure we got it right. But it looks like we did. Catherine Webster, 1843. Died 18... Oh, two. I think this is going to be kind of an interesting research because the preliminary report I got on the first Phillipses that I recovered earlier was that they were a black family living in Missouri in the 1850s in the pre-Civil War. Um, they're buried as husband and wife and so I'm sure they were uh, at that time um, free, free Americans and not slaves. There is another stone in the cemetery from 1855, which is a year, I believe a year after the other one, that says uh, slave of. And so... Now you may not be able to see this census record, but it is from the Phillips family from Hannibal from the 1900 census. And it shows that Jenny Phillips is the mother of Catherine Webster, She's also the mother of Robert Phillips, who married Emily on the other stone. And so uh, they were actually living um, in Hannibal before the Civil War. Robert was born in 1847 in Missouri. And uh, their address is listed in 1900 as 1615 North Broadway Extension. And the neat thing is we drove by there. There's still two old houses that are probably uh, date back to 1900 that are still there. They have a different address. It's uh, instead of 1615, there's a 1613 and a 1617. Both houses have been made to apartments where more than one family could live. So um, it could be very well be their their place that they live. If we could turn over that stone of Catherine Webster's, we would probably see the name Harrison Webster as the main burial on that stone. That was her husband and um, he would have been the main one and then his wife and mother-in-law listed on the side so very interesting i hope you're able to continue watching these videos and i'll try to find ways to make them more uh, accessible and interesting and maybe we can get something done about having all these stones repaired and fixed and helping people find their family history subscribe to this channel and hope you enjoyed it thank you bye bye